Hi, my name is Harriet Lewis, and I'm here with Vince Liguri. Vince, I heard you speak at the forum presented by the Palm Coast Civic Association, in which you provided a counter-perspective to the economic development referendum on, on the upcoming November ballot that was put forth by Enterprise Flagler and other entities. If approved, the referendum which proposes a new tax would be $0.25 cents per $1,000 of taxable property value for 10 years. It will cost the owner of a $150,000 home with a $50,000 homestead exemption $25 per year. The tax is expected to generate about $1.8 million per year of economic development, for economic development. According to the Enterprise Flagler, there is a plan to spend 60% on infrastructure to prepare the site for large industrial users, 30% will go towards incentives, and 10% for marketing, up to 10% for marketing, to my understanding. Um, I have a few questions for you. First, I would like for you um, to expound upon the different solution that you put forth at the forum last week. Yes, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, there is another solution, and I believe the better way to go. It is called the small county surtax, otherwise known as the local option sales tax. Now, what is it all about? Flagler was a small county when the legislature passed that in, 19, in the 90s. In 1992, they qualified. Why? Because they had less than 50000 so, to be short and to the point, we have a half a cent left of that money. Now, what makes it so good? What makes it good is there's more to this proposal than meets the eye. For example, you say $25 a year. I say 25 to 30 million over 10 years. Now, that's a substantial difference. Now, this way, in my proposal, and the way the state authorizes us to do it, we get cooperation. How? The county must interface with the cities because they have to have an interlocal agreement. And if we go this way, the bonds are negated unless the county puts it to a referendum. Sorry to be so technical. But the advantage here is that we eliminate the county commissioners and Enterprise Flagler being the ultimate domain, if you will. Now, in this procedure, all cities have a say, and that's how it should be done. They should meet city leaders to discuss how they want to spend this money, how they're going to split this local sales tax dollars of revenue coming in, which would be approximately $4 million a year. Now, I'm not saying that Enterprise Flagler should get the whole $4 million. That's not my domain. It's up to the cities, the local officials, and I believe a business or economic commission comprised of business leaders and citizens. Okay, that's great. I remember at the forum last week that um, Michael Cimento, a board member of Enterprise Flagler, um, said that the half cent sales tax would generate $3.8 million a year, and that he stated that Enterprise Flagler uh, was only asking for $1.8 million, not the $3.8 million, and that it, in fact it would cost uh, taxpayers even more. Um, do you have any response for that? Yes, I do. You see, the beauty of the local option sales tax is that the county commissioners are the only ones who can activate it. So, you can activate it, but guess what? You can sunset it at any time you want. Under my proposal, if I were the chief, I would say, listen, Enterprise Flagler, we know we need jobs in this county, but there's another way to do it. So, guess what? We'll implement this tax for a two-year period and subject you to strict audit controls, participation from all parties, and accountability. We're not implementing this forever. We don't want to implement it forever. We want a short-term, good fix that will get you started. So am I hearing you correctly? Um, you're saying that it, it's a better solution because it, 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 provi it provides an opportunity for um, Enterprise Flagler to be more accountable with the money that's being spent, and it offers an opportunity for the citizens to be empowered to end uh, the tax process earlier than the 10 years, that they're not encumbered to it for the 10-year process. Is that That's right. Saying? That's correct. Uh, I'll, I'll state again. You can implement it when you want, and you can stop it when you want. You know, I, I have to add here that Enterprise Flagler was resurrected in 1995 in our county. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since that time, or I might simply say, why, does it, why did it take them 15 years to realize that we were in the hole job-wise? Vince, recently on the Palm Coast uh, blog, Blackwood County Commissioner Barbara Revel stated that currently 86% of the tax burden is on the shoulders of Blackwood County residential homeowners. 
and that we must diversify our community's tax burden by the creation of more commercial and industrial taxpayers. In the debate, you said, do not encumber your home for this. What is your reaction? My reaction to her statement is this. This is nothing new. This is nothing new at all. But when you were building and when you were booming and when the cement trucks were rolling and everybody was happy, the chamber at the price flag, the jobs were here, the money was rolling in, you didn't think about that point then, did you? No. Did they do any proper planning and say, we're booming, let's start working on when we bust? No, they haven't. So therefore, who created this spread that we, the citizens, are paying the majority of the money? Our officials, county and cities. They should have done a better job of planning. Okay. What is your opinion of the team leading Enterprise Flagler in the past and today? Well, let me simply say, uh, Enterprise Flagler was resurrected in 1995. I may have already mentioned that. But did you know, since 2002, they have been given $3.4 million. Now, I, as a citizen, say, what have you done with that money? How many jobs have you created? Did you not realize then that you needed a building? So I'm quite suspect in their utilization of funds and their direction. Okay. Do you have an ideal vision of an economic development leadership team in Flagler County, or do you find that it already exists in other entities such as in the county or other municipalities? That's an excellent question, and here's why. I'm very perplexed why the city of Palm Coast has not come out and said, you know, we're against this. Now you're saying, well, why should they be against it? They should be against this economic tax referendum proposal because they will be completely disenfranchised. By that I mean they will have a minimal input. They can say, we don't like it, we do like it. However, the ultimate decision will be made by the county commissioners. Now, I, for one, didn't fight for five years to become a city to, to again be dependent upon the county commissioners. So, what I am saying is, we have to have, to do this properly, we have to have our local officials involved, the county officials involved, and we have to establish a commission comprised of business leaders and citizen leaders. That's what you do. Set up a commission, work together. Listen, I might ask you, how good are the county officials working with the city officials? I don't know. I am not a part of that environment. However, I want to go back to my original question of the leadership team. Um, how would you say that that is different, that mission, that goal of the county, the city, business leaders, civic leaders working together to move economic development forward? Is that not what Enterprise Flagler's mandate is as a private-public partnership? Yes, it is, but I might cite to you from their, meaning the Chamber and Enterprise Flagless proposal. You know, government entities are moving away from contributing to these organizations. Why? The current downturn. Nobody knows where we're going. Tomorrow is up in the air. It's out in the nebulous. Uh, tax increases, health care, etc. You know, everybody looks at bills and we say, oh, the military rate is only three fifty dollars in the city per year. Wait a minute, folks. Step back, relax, and look at what you're really paying. For example, in your insurance policies, you've got a $7,000 hurricane deductible. You've got storm damage on your FPL, your cell phones, your home lines, local taxes. So when you say, do I feel that the direction of, the, of these entities, local and enterprise flagler, has been strong or, or targeted? No, I don't. I, no, I don't at all. Because number one, with this very proposal, they're overlooking what the media has referred to the seniors as the white-haired wealthy people. That is a misnomer if I ever heard one. Hopefully I've answered your question. I believe you have. Um, also, my final question is, what is your opinion on investing in existing Flagler County businesses versus spending millions for courting new businesses? Well, here I, I'm very strong on this point. I go around the town, I talk to a lot of people, and I see the blight. I see the blight of empty storefronts, and I hear the pleas of business on the vision, and I'd like to see, and I've been a longtime advocate of economic development. I want Palm Coast to be a place with things to do and places to go. And I believe it's not going to happen at the airport. 
I believe it's going to happen in the infrastructure by correctly attracting the businesses by new venture, by financing and giving people with creativity and new ideas and current business owners the wherewithal to go to banks, to go here and say, look, I've got the backing of uh, the city of Palm Coast. This is what I believe we should be doing. If you make the infrastructure a place that a CEO or his advanced team could go through, you know, they've got nice neighborhoods, they've got neat approaches to the city, uh, they have amenities. You know, Palm Coast Flagler County blog creates an opportunity for residents such as yourself to voice their opinions, to share their um, ideas about our community. Do you have any final thoughts on this issue? Yes, my thought is this. The local option sales tax, in my opinion, is the only way to go. As I've mentioned, because it can be turned off and it can be turned on by the county commissioners depending on how well or how good we're doing. My feeling is that, and I want people to know this, that in this referendum is also a provision to issue $15 million of general obligation bonds. Folks, I guarantee you, they will do it. They will do it. Now, what happens? We have more debt upon debt. This is not the way to go. It absolutely is not. I implore the citizens of the county to look into the facts, examine both times, and to make a decision. We do need job environment and job creation, but there's a better way to do it. And I would cite to you the following, that when Enterprise Flagler and the other agencies, uh, the Chamber, presented all their documentation to the county commissioners, tucked way in the back of their presentation, are perfect examples. So I'm, I'm not a brilliant scholar. This is in existence, and these things happen. But yet, the person I debated at the... Uh, Palm Coast Civic Association stated that experts claim that the sales tax is not the way to go. And I respond, why is it in your documentation to the county commissioners? You know, as you talk about that, and that, that was my final question, but now I have another question. Um, would the sales tax actually um, force people to shop outside of the county when they know that they can purchase things for less rate in, in nearby counties? I don't think so. And here's the reason. Uh, you might remember that Marco Rubio proposed eliminating school tax and implementing and putting it into the sales tax. I was for that 100%. I thought that was innovative, creative, whatever you want to call it. No, I don't, because the half cent would be capped at 5000 So, for example, if my math is correct, if you wanted to buy a new car, you would only be taxed up to the 5000 and taking 1% uh, of that would be $50 and the half percent would be $25 if my math is right. Well, if you go back and forth to Daytona a few times, you'll chew up that $25 pretty quickly and guess. So I don't see that. And I don't buy into the fact, as the Enterprise Flagler people say, that the sales tax is regressive. And I counter that argument by saying many people feel the real estate tax is unfair too. Yeah, but back to the, the sales tax again. So you don't. Some people also believe that the sales increasing the sales tax in Flagler County would also hurt local businesses. Not only because people will, um, well, because people will leave, but also it will also deter other businesses from also coming to the county because they know <laughs> that um, this would also affect uh, sales. I don't think so. In the in the following sense, there are two sides to that argument you propose. Number one, what is so good about putting a 10-year tax on our non-homesteaded businesses, which they are non-homesteaded? So they're going to pay considerably more than the residential owner. Do we think that's an enticement for the business? I mean, if you were the CEO of Walmart and you say, what's going on? Why are, why are we being stuck with a 10-year tax? And as I remember from the presidential, last presidential election, corporations don't pay taxes they pass it back to the people via whatever mechanism they want, increase prices. So no, I don't believe it's unfair, and I don't believe people are going to rush out. I hope that people would realize this is better than encumbering your home for 10 years. You don't know what's coming for tomorrow. Well, Vince, it was great speaking with you today. I really appreciate the opportunity to get your voice heard on uh, Palm Coast Flagler County blog. Thank you. I appreciate it, too.